We start the iPhone 15 Pro Max. When this thing dropped a couple months ago, I thought that it was going to be the game changer for me. The thing that I was going to always be out capturing cinematic shots with. But honestly, it tends to just sit in my pocket and I pull it out from time to time to film shots for YouTube videos or music videos. But then today, I want to revisit it. Go out, try to get some cool compositions, and make this thing look as cinematic as possible, utilizing this complete filmmaking cage right here from Small Rig. Now, this is the collaboration between Brandon Lee and Small Rig. Features this entire cage, this indie filter, and also these two quick release handles. And one of them doubles as a remote trigger for the iPhone, which is pretty cool. And actually really useful if you're going to be filming yourself. Now, since this video is sponsored by Small Rig, I'm going to be giving away everything in this video for completely free. So all you got to do is head on to the comment section below. Drop me a comment about anything, but make sure to include your Instagram handle so I can reach out to you and get this stuff shipped out to you if you do win. I'm going to be giving this away and also a whole other filmmaking kit as well to two lucky people. Drop a like, drop a comment down below, but let's get it, man. I just want to see if this actually does improve the stability of the already good stabilization on the iPhone 15 Pro Max. So I'm going to set this up now. I really like how the lights are hitting the ground right here. You can see that in the background right there. This is just dope. So I'm going to try to set up a frame based around that and just walk through it. Cool thing about using this cage that's actually really going to help me with getting a shot is that I can just take the handle off and then I have that remote trigger on me and I can start and stop recording whenever I want to. I'm gonna go ahead and pop this trigger off right now. That way, when we start walking, you can just press that and we in the game. One thing I always try to do when I'm filming on my phone is I make sure I lock off everything. If you didn't know this, you can press and hold on your screen on your iPhone, it'll lock off the exposure, it'll lock off the focus. That way, when everything's happening in the scene, it won't be switching exposure or switching focus, which adds to the element of making it look like it's not from a smartphone. Let's walk through the frame a couple times. Make sure I get the look I'm going for right there. Boom, it's one attempt. I'm also going to try to walk this line right here where the uh, parking spot is with a yellow. Just kind of accentuate those leading lines a little bit. Boom, press that, stop recording. We <laughs> okay. And the thing that I do really like about this cage system is that it follows the same philosophy for me when it comes to building out a rig for my actual camera. It has to be efficient and fast. I have to be able to get into the rig and get out of the rig as fast as possible. And especially for mobile filmmaking, if it's not fast, I'm just not gonna use it. The thing about going out and filming and only having yourself is that if you wanna film yourself, you kinda have to film static shots, <laughs> which is kinda pointless to me actually having this handheld rig like this, even though it's possible for me to mount it to a tripod, you really want to use it and actually see what the stabilization and the benefits are of using a system like this. So I'm gonna just film some random stuff around me, environmental, and then we'll pop in every now and then, get these cool tripod compositions as well. I just had a brain fart. <laughs> right now though, looking at this space, I really like how you have the power lines coming through the top of the alleyway. Ideally, I would get a composition like this, which is why I have a composition like this. It looks good. You got the leading lines right there and then the shadows It's doing a really good job as well. But um, yeah, I'm gonna just go through, film some stuff and uh, see what that stabilization is like. with these cool little side handles, the cage itself, which also doubles as a case for your phone. And then you got that variable ND filter on there, which comes with the kit. But back to the word efficiency, man. This thing is freaking fast. If you wanna take off your side handles, you got quick releases on both of those. And then you're already down to a simpler form of the rig in itself, which just features the cage and the variable ND filter. On the side of the cage, you have a button which pops the top off and releases your phone. So if you just wanna slide your phone out, close that, 
you out of it that quick. And I love that. And with the variable ND filter, you just pop that off like so. And then you can just twist off the thread itself. And then this is the cage and you can see it looks nice. It's sporting this metallic green look, which just looks fire. And the entire inside of this is lined with rubber, which does a great job of protecting your phone. You see these peaks right here? I want to test out the five times uh, lens on the iPhone 15 Pro Max just to really see how the stabilization is with this system. So swap this on and let's film this. I just got to find some foreground to get like a nice revealing shot. I think I'm going to step into one of these little alleyways right here and then pop out. We'll see how that looks. This cage is lined with quarter 20 threads all around it. So if you want to use additional accessories with it, a tripod, a monopod, a gimbal, you can also do that. When you're filming landscape, you have one cold shoe up here at the top. If you want to attach like a microphone, a light, you can do that. And then when you're filming vertical, you also have a cold shoe up here at the top as well. So you can do that too. You can also attach these on this side of the rig as well. And this will double as a vertical rig. So if you just want to go out and create Instagram reels and TikTok videos, you can also do so with this cage system as well. All right, so this is the stairwell shot. You can see we got the phone on the tripod. Now I'm about to walk up the stairs. Let's go. Another thing that comes with this kit that I thought was really smart is this bag right here. You just throw your different accessories into this traveling bag, and then you got the drawstrings on the side, pull those tight, and then you could just toss this in your camera backpack, and whenever you wanna get some solid stuff from your phone, you always got the kit on you. So this right here is another cage system from Small Rig that features a few different accessories, but this is all separate. So this has these quick release handles that are the exact same as the brand Lee kit. This is just a cage system from Small Rig that features MagSafe right here in the middle and also these clamps. This also goes vertical too. So if you wanna slap the quick release handles on this side, you can get a cool vertical rig as well, which I think is pretty dope. So if you're interested in any of these iPhone 15 Pro Max filmmaking accessories, I'm gonna leave links down in the description for you guys to check these out. Make sure you guys enter into this giveaway. All you gotta do is drop this video a like and drop a comment about anything, but make sure you include your Instagram handle so I can reach out to you when I do choose the winner in a week from now. But that's that, man. I'm gonna check you guys out in my next video, all right? Peace.